So this is going to be a brief video about how to create annotated bibliographies or just bibliographies um, in Zotero or using Zotero. Um, as a quick reminder, I uh, want to mention that we have writing and citing help with a link to Zotero under our writing and research guides link under the library tab of the Philip, Philips website. Um, and please be sure to check out the Philips style guide. It's updated every so often um, with new information and, and formatting um, preferences campus-wide that the seminary has. And this guide, along with other Zotero guides, is on the uh, library section of Moodle's Resources for Success course. Um, just to show you what a bibliography looks like for Chicago Manual of Style, Turabian, um, you uh, have the hanging indention here, um, and this is what it would look like, but an annotated bib is like um, a citation with a bit of your comments under it, and however your professor wants um, the annotation to be such as how long they want it to be or um, how in-depth it may be different. Uh, so it does depend on instructor preference, but I got this from the web, this example. But you still have the hanging indent and then your paragraph below it about why um, you think this fits with uh, the assignment, so on and so forth. Um, to be able to create a bib uh, for your assignment, you will need to have Zotero al already installed. And as I said before, there are videos and guides in Moodle, and I give you a link there. So now I'm going to bring up Zotero just to show you what it, it looks like um, and how it works. So um, I have been saving items to my library and um, you can click on one and the metadata opens in this uh, side box here and notice this extra field so if i wanted to go ahead and type out my annotation that i wanted um, to be with this citation it will create for me i could go ahead and do that or if i just wanted to give myself a brief note about uh, what I wanted to say in my real annotation, I could do that there just to remind myself so I don't forget to mention something. I could do that here and edit it after I export my citations. But um, so I'm going to select the citations I want by uh, holding down the control button and um, selecting the ones I want. So Let's say all these others, maybe I was interested in one at one point, um, but they're no longer something I want to include in my bib, so I can just ignore them and select the ones that I want. And so I right click on the highlighted uh, resources there and I say create bibliography from items. And this citation style uh, box comes up and you select it. Um, if you don't already have this Chicago Manual of Style 17th edition um, note annotated bibliography, you can download it. There's help in this in these accompanying slides uh, to do that. I'm going to make sure that this says bibliography here because that's what we're creating. Um, and I'm going to say copy to clipboard, which is just telling it we're copying to paste it later. And so I hit OK. And then I'm going to bring up my um, Word document. I'm going to bring up a fresh one here, and it's blank. And then I'm going to just hit Control and V and paste it. So as you can see, the formatting is off. Um, depending on your defaults in Word, it, it will just keep the defaults. Um, but you can go into the paragraph settings and double space it as it should be. But it gets us half of the way there. Um, notice that some of the ones that I imported here did not have annotations like this first one. So I could uh, go back and add that. Um, but, but this one did. Um, this Clark J. Michael 
annotation. And notice that it's given it an indent as well. We need to correct that and um, move it over so that it looks like it's part of this citation and not its own because that would be confusing. Um, so you will have to edit and maybe make sure that the format it, it puts the items metadata in is correct and matches our preferences found in the Phillips style guide or found in Turabian Chicago general styles because it is just a computer uh, doing its best. So that's one way to create a uh, annotated bib or just a bib if you didn't fill out that extra field as seen right here in this screenshot it wouldn't export any of um, your annotations or you could just delete the annotation after you export it into your word processor but if you were to click this uh, research library guides it will tell you um, exactly how to do what we just did um, and these are the screenshots from that it's a library guide a libguide so um, as you can see, it, it uses really uh, brief uh, annotations <laughs> in its example. Um, so I hope this was helpful, and let me know if you have any questions about Zotero, and we can work through your issues.